could be at least neutral, and that's what you want to try to do is get it at least neutral, but actually generate revenue so that you can grow your utility system from that. Would another of those enterprise funds be the one which is used to pay keep wilds all lost to beautiful? No. Let keep lands by lost to beautiful is basically an appropriation. They get their funding from tipping fees from out of the landfill. Okay, can we see the contracts for tipping fees? I don't know about I've never seen one, so I can't tell you whether it exists. If it exists, all you have to do is make that request. You know how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I did make that request, and I was told that I had to go talk to the heating company because they were going to tip. That's it. Because it's not a contract with the county, it's a contract with the Deep South Solid Waste Authority. That's where it comes from. Yeah, I'm very puzzled. The, con there have to be two sides of the contract. Where's the other side? Who, who's the other side of the contract if it's not the county? Well, it probably it, it is. And if it's anything in the county, let me just say this because I'm, I'm not that familiar with that, to be honest with you. But if it's if it's a contract within the county, there's a copy of it that you can get. Now you can either get it, the copy of the one contract with all the signatures on it, it's what you're gonna have, that you can get if it's Deep South Sanitation Authority, it's the one that holds that contract, we have a copy of it, but the original is within. And that's where it should be. Say again now. You just said the county has a copy, yet the county refused to return a copy of that copy in response to another directive. Well, let me say, when, when I'm saying that now, I, I don't know exactly what you're asking for. So if you made a request to the county for a document that the county is supposed to have, you should have got it. I didn't. It, well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Then if you didn't get it, then the county doesn't have it, John. It's that simple. Which is possible. I'll talk to you more about it later. Just one more yeah. and I'll shut up. The website. John, one more for you now and you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Well, exactly, but that's what I'm saying. That that is the responsibility, and I've been I'm on the planning committee, or had been on the planning commission. That is their responsibility. It will be their responsibility because again, it is their minutes. They it is they are the commission. It will be their responsibility. Someone there will have to have the responsibility to get it to the website to have it posted and put on the website. If they do that, it will be there. If they don't do that, then it's not going to be there. So that's the group that you're going to need to go and talk to at the end of the day if it is not on the website. Thank you for your Okay. Anything else? <clears throat> yes, sir. I was curious about the SPLOS. Does that affect you the general fund? Not the general fund. Okay. Anything else? All right. Thank you all. Appreciate it. so much. That, that was really awesome. Great presentation. Um, I, I would say that we would have our um, officers reports, but I think that um, we don't have any officers here. I see that uh, Joyce Evans has come in. Good evening, Joyce. Um, so I'm, I'm going to give all the officers reports all in one. Um, Let's see. Dr. Marks is in charge of the elections. We just had a primary election. There's going to be a runoff on July the 22nd. So don't forget to go back. There are Democratic primary runoffs that you need to go back for. 
There are also nonpartisan runoffs that you need to go back for. So don't forget to go back on July the 22nd. Another election event um, that is upcoming, and I'll make the announcement of it now, um, we will have our Democratic caucus to elect the half of the committee members sometime coming up. Um, Dennis and I talked about this, it's not clear. Um, we were, the, our bylaws say we have to have it within 45 days of the primary, but since the primary was moved, it's not clear that we still have to have it within 45 days of the primary. So he will, is conferring with the state lawyer about that. Um, but be aware that that'll be advertised in the newspaper and we will elect half of the committee sometime soon. Also coming up will be the Democratic Committee meeting and convention, which will be um, sometime in August. Laverne, do you know when that will be? Sometime in August. Sometime in August. <laughs> well, Laverne is the state secretary, so she says sometime in August, and it will be sometime in August. Um, qualifying, well, okay, we don't have to worry about qualifying too much right now, but do think about your friends that might want to run in 2015 for any municipal elections, maybe Hejaro, like Park, Asher, Valdosta, there's always something to run for, so think about that, um, who you might be interested in that. And membership, is Miss Amanda going to be coming to give us some She's at the veterinary still. Yes. Okay, well, so I can't give you a membership update, but please do pay your dues because, like I said, those $25, those, those $50, is they help us to pay the rent and pay the cable bill and, and, and help candidates um, sort of know what they're doing. There's all the opportunity for us. Um, I'm going to insert here briefly um, a candidates to be heard. Uh, we have candidate for County Commission District 5, Norman Bennett. Norman, do you want to talk one minute? Always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll just say I talked to Clay Greiner earlier today and he was unavailable to be with us, but he will be at the barbecue. So, Norman. Thank you, Gretchen. I, I will make mine real short. Uh, always hunt the crowds when you're running for election. You've got to get out and tell people what you're all about and things like that. But the main thing is, I would encourage all of you. We we need to vote. You know, the turnout was atrocious when when you, if you look at it, less than 16 percent of the people voted in the last count out of about 62,000 people. And I would encourage you to get out and know the candidates that you want to vote for, support, and, and, and elect. And I would love to be the candidate that gets elected to District 5. I served on the county commission for 20 years, back from 76 to 96, 97, and, and we made a difference. I'd like to help make a difference again. I told Chairman Slaughter two years ago I didn't want to run for chairman. If I had, I'd ran at that time. I was set back on my little farm up there after retiring from the paper mill down there after 40 years. Sort of easy going along and all like that, but, but there's work to be done. Our nation needs a lot of help. And we, it all starts at the local level. We have good, solid government at the local level and set the example that the state and the national people should follow. And, and that's the main thing. But, but I encourage you to get out and vote, know your candidates, and please vote for me on July the 22nd. I think early voting starts the 30th of June, so we've got just a little time there. But I encourage everybody, your friends, neighbors, family, and all like that, to go vote. Thank you. If you got questions, I'll be glad to try to answer any of those or talk with you later. I'll put some cards on the table there to take home with you. My phone number's on there, my email address is on there. But I look forward to talking with you. You'll see me on the trails when you hear it July the 22nd. Thank you. Thank you for being willing to serve. Okay, um, members wishing to be here, do we have any members that have something important to say to us? about the barbecue, yes ma'am. All right. I'm going to talk about it when we talk about upcoming events. Uh, but since no members have jumped, uh, do we have any old or new business which I have neglected? No. Okay, the annual barbecue. This is totally awesome. It's going to be Tuesday, July the 1st. There are ticket um, registration forms. You can sign up and buy your tickets ahead. Um, Jason Carter is going to be with us for sure, 100% confirmed. So, it, it's our opportunity to show off how great South George is. Um, please plan on coming and bringing your friends. Um, like I said, there are some Democratic primary runoffs. 
Um, one of them is for state school superintendent. That race is between Valerie Wilson and Alicia Morgan. Okay. And uh, Valerie has confirmed that she will be here. I'm waiting to hear from Alicia. Um, so plan on coming to the barbecue. Um, also PSC um, candidate Daniel Blackman, who was with us last year as one of our speakers, he will be back um, with us. So the barbecue is going to be awesome. It'll be at Mathis Auditorium in the multipurpose room. We need volunteers to sell tickets. Take a handful of those ticket reservation forms with you and get your friends to buy some tickets so that they can see Jason Carter in person. Anything else I should say about the barbecue? Um, we will do a voter registration, all things um, aligning up correctly, at the 100 Men uh, Black Men Barbecue on August the 2nd. Um, that's a pretty regular event where, you know, maybe four or six of us come down and, and collect some registrations. Uh, we will have our next regular meeting Monday the August the 4th, and Corey Hull from the MPO will be with us. He has a little project that he's working on. It'll be about a 20-minute presentation and then an opportunity for feedback about his current plan. Um, I like it when he comes because it's a way for us to have direct input to his projects. Again, the state committee meeting sometime in August. Um, is there anything else? Yes, ma'am. Juneteenth. Juneteenth. What is the date of Juneteenth? 21st. Uh, June the 21st. We will be doing a voter registration at Juneteenth, June the 21st. It's on the courthouse square, right? 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Okay. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. All right. And that's, a, that's always an excellent place to um, be visible. And, and uh, one year I registered a whole bunch of girls to re uh, vote there. And then they did almost all of the decorating and cleanup for the barbecue, <laughs> which was <laughs> really great. So um, uh, Jeanette is heading that one up. I'm sorry. And, um, our dinner is the 17th at Tuesday, the next tour or uh, And the Juneteenth dinner, uh, the 17th, Ju June the 17th. Okay, so again, see Jeanette if you have uh, interest in that. Oh, the final thing is that um, Lowndes County now has a chapter, uh, it's called the Valdosta chapter, but it's um, for uh, all women in Lowndes County, uh, Lowndes County Democratic Women's, Democratic Women, I'm not exactly sure. Federation. Federation of Democratic Women, that's it. Um, <laughs> I, I'm a member, but not in charge or on the board. Uh, but they meet on the second Saturday of the month uh, at 12 o'clock if you're interested in that group. Uh, being any other business? Repeat that time again, please. Yes? For the ladies, repeat that one more time. The time that they... They, they meet the second Saturday of the month at 12 o'clock, and they've been meeting at Hildegard's. Say again. You need the ticket amount for the seventeenth. Okay, how much is it? It's ten dollars for adults. It's five dollars for children before the ten. And the three is free. Okay, and that's for the dinner on the seventeenth. Yes. Okay, ten dollars for adults, five dollars for children, under three free. And that's usually a pretty nice event. Okay. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So. Yay! We did great. What time is it? Not even seven. Not even seven. Thank you very much for coming.